got my hemorrhoids here. Well, let's take a look at the greenhouse. Here it is, uh, late uh, April 2018. And uh, see how Mr. Green Thumb's getting along there in the greenhouse and what all is growing in here. Let's just go in here and take a picky boo. Oh boy, look at all the plants in here. Just about everything you can think of. Too much to uh, mention. <laughs> and uh, look at there. I can't go over and uh, talk about all of them because there's too many of them. We'll just take a look here and look and see and see what we can tell what's what. You know, uh, winter lasts so long around this place like uh, you don't get to set anything out in the garden till May and uh, here it is tonight and tomorrow night is supposed to have a we're supposed to have a frost warning advisory and uh, I'll tell you these old plants is really a growing and uh, it's amazing of course it's about a hundred degrees in here so that makes them really perk up and and grow up to the sky <laughs> and we'll just take a little peek around here and see what's going on here and and uh, look at there at that temperature there it's right up there a good hundred little over hundred degrees and we have a fan there it blows air in between the plastic and keeps helps keep it insulated when it's cool outside but just look at these plants it's really amazing uh, yeah when you and we have the back to Eden garden they transplant mr. green thumb will transplant these here plants out in the uh, back to Eden garden with wood chips which we've had wood chips on there for about three years now, I guess, and uh, and uh, yeah, like I said, them are uh, plants. Look at there. There's that little fan that blows up there. Air in between them plastic. There's two sheets of plastic on there, and that kind of pops it up like an old old uh, puppy ball and puts air space in between that plastic and also it don't drip uh, the uh, moisture uh, the it don't drip down on you like with one sheet it won't drip on you with two sheets on there when we had one on there there's always water dripping down especially early in the morning when the sun was coming out and, and uh, everything there but the other day mr. green thumb said he seen a couple of praying little baby praying mantises in here well we had some in here last summer and uh, they uh, we didn't see any more didn't see any eggs left over anywhere so there must have been some hid in there somewhere and then when it warmed up they just hatched out now he has some uh, some nest uh, he saved and put them in the ice box and he'll put them in here and let them hatch out Whenever the insects starts flying around some, they have to have something to eat, you know. And uh, so maybe last year we had some nice big praying mantises in here that kept the insects ate down. And uh, they, they stayed in there as well, clear up the cold weather, and then they just kicked the bucket. And uh, they don't live too many months anyhow, even out in the wild. Look at that corn there. Look how big that corn is there and of course he has just about everything you can think of in here too much to really mention and uh, it's really amazing so we'll just take a little peek here around look at this big old tall plant here don't ask me what it is I don't have a green thumb actually mine turn them black but uh, that thing there was in here all winter and just as soon as it warmed up real good stayed warm in here that thing has almost grown through to the top of the greenhouse see the greenhouse is made out of cattle panels 
and uh, there, there's some uh, uh, no, they're not turnips, the radish. There's some radishes. Well, for Pete's sake, man, can't you see the sign there on there? On there it says radish, and uh, this is what causes red. You think it's radish, but the actually a little sticker said it was radish. So things is really getting ready to be transplanted out in the garden. <laughs> Bobby Hemorrhoid back here again. Uh, this so uh, look at there at them bags of soil there we had left over from last year up there. And old Mr. Green Thumb, he just stuck some plants down in there. Uh, here we are looking at the back at the door on the greenhouse. See, these are cattle panels here. Uh, there's five of them across here, side by side, and uh, you just bow them over there and fasten them down. You can make a dandy greenhouse, a place to put uh, your uh, four-wheeler or just about any uh, thing you can get in there, tools over the winter. We had a tarpaulin over there the year before last, winter before last, and so we decided to turn it into a greenhouse. We just took a tarp off of there and put uh, uh, plastic on there. Uh, let's go back here and take a look at this potting soil. This is what we use this year, and it's the best stuff I have ever seen. Uh, it's miracle Grow potting soil, and it already has the fertilizer in there that's coated and releases, time releases. It just, uh, it's supposed to last up to six months. And says it just grows plants twice as big and they're right it does man this stuff I believe that that gone stuff would grow clear through the top of the greenhouse if you didn't get it out of there in time run well, well it's about two cubic foot there and it's like uh, 11 .99 at Walmart and we've already bought several bags and I think when we transplanted out there and that there uh, in the wood chips in the garden you just take some and put around them plants and I just know they'll just grow so tall we just can't can't control them and there might be like Jack and the Beanstalk who knows and uh, yeah and that mama hemorrhoid she probably uh, she probably like to have some of that food can this fall if her and Mr. Green Thumb don't get in a fight and and uh, destroy everything they're always arguing around with each other and uh, well, I'll tell you, it's a, uh, it's really a good year for these plants because that stuff we used last year to start these plants in, they just didn't grow good at all. But that miracle grow, we have already found our miracle. We'll know from now on what to use. It just has fertilized and uh, everything right in there, and you don't have to add anything to it. You can grow your seedlings and and uh, a little bit of everything. I don't know whether you could grow any grasshoppers or anything like that in there, but uh, well, who knows? And so I think uh, we'll pretty well wrap this up here and and uh, happy gardening to all of you out there. And hope your weather warms up just as soon as possible. At least here, anyhow. <laughs> so, uh, this is old Bobby Hemorrhoid and the gang, and we're going to say adios and, and sign out of here. Time to close the door on the greenhouse and put it to bed for the night. After all, plants can't work all the time, you know. They have to have rest sometime. So, we'll see you. Have a good time there. And this is Jimmy Jammer. I'm inquiring about that Bobby Hemrod position. Do believe his mother um, is looking for someone, <laughs> and I think I might lead the. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Little one for the job. Yeah. I definitely think I'm more qualified than that hemorrhoid. I'll guarantee my last light bulb that I'd be a better worker than him. Give me a call. I'll beat all the competition. I guarantee it. Thank you.